dear students this is a very important topic that i will be discussing in this video the topic for discussion is cayley hamilton theorem and its applications statement of the theorem you don't require the proof in your syllabus so the statement goes very simply every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation It means you are given a square matrix and you can find its characteristic equation then that characteristic equation will be satisfied by the square matrix by that we mean that is if a is a square matrix of order n with the characteristic equation you know determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 is a characteristic equation but when you de develop this uh, characteristic polynomial this is the characteristic polynomial it will look like this let me call it as p of lambda a naught plus a1 lambda plus a2 lambda square plus etc plus a n lambda raised to n if this is the characteristic equation cayley hamilton theorem says that instead of lambda you can replace it by a itself then p of a here is p of lambda here is p of a that means replace lam uh, lambda by a but the here the, this is the number a naught but that number a naught should be replaced by a naught i other things will be uh, uh, lambda replaced by a so it's a naught i a naught in one is replaced by a naught i plus a one a plus a two a square plus etc plus a n a raised to n is equal to zero this zero is metric zero where this zero is the number zero so whenever whenever you have a characteristic equation that characteristic equation you can replace it by Uh, changing lambda as a and you will be getting a polynomial matrix this is what we call as matrix polynomial equation and the more uh, the very important thing is that you cannot add a matrix with a number so it should be a not i this is the identity matrix so when you see the examples some examples in the next slides you will uh, get more ideas so uh, this is the question which you can expect for your examination point of view uh, you will be given a 2 by 2 matrix or a 3 by 2 matrix and you will be asked to verify Cayley Hamilton theorem for that matrix. So suppose A is a square matrix of order 2 like this 1 2 3 4 are the entries of this matrix. So for answering you write A once again given A is equal to 1 2 3 4 you will be writing its characteristic equation as determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 we have done so many problems so it will be easy for you to change the diagonal elements subtracted by lambda so it is 1 minus lambda 4 minus lambda the other two elements will remain the same if we expand this determinant this will look like 1 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus 6 equal to 0 you can simplify it and you can see that it is a quadratic polynomial this is equal to 0 means the characteristic equation is a uh, polynomial equation of with the polynomial will degree 2 because the given matrix is of order, order 2 so now the cayley hamilton theorem says that if you replace lambda by a that means a square minus 5a minus 2 it should not be 2 2i so this should be verified we have to verify means so far it is not verified we have to verify means we'll be computing a square we'll be computing minus 5a we'll be computing minus 2a and see whether that is equal to the zero matrix zero Okay, so first of all, we compute a square just usual multiplication. This is a into a, so that is a square. One into one plus two into three, that is one one the one plus two is six. Six plus two is uh, sorry one uh, six plus one, which is uh, seven. Then two two the then the sec first row is weaved with the second. So one into two plus two into four. One two the two two four the eight eight plus two is ten. So you can see that the value of a square is seven ten fifteen. Uh, 22 so now you compute the uh, this uh, value this matrix actually a square minus 5a minus 2i so a square we have computed 5 times a means 5 times this matrix minus 2 times i i you know it is uh, 1 0 0 1 so if you do like that this is a square minus 5a minus 2i you can see that 7 minus 5 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 10 minus 10, which is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. 15 minus 15 is 0, 0 minus 0, 0. 12 minus 20, sorry, 22 minus 20 is uh, uh, 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So everything is 0 means it's a zero matrix. So we have verified that Cayley the Hamilton theorem is true for this given matrix. That's how the problem is to be done. So one more example I will have, or we will have 
this is a matrix uh, of order 3 so uh, let me call it as B so you have to verify so write the characteristic equation you'll be getting a, co a polynomial is equal to 0 like that in that polynomial replace lambda by A and the most important thing is that you have to replace the constant as constant into I and that's the thing so this is given so we'll write the characteristic equation then expand here you see this is a, a triangular matrix for a triangular matrix we have seen the diagonal elements are the eigenvalues so we'll, uh, here we don't have to read uh, what is the do with the eigenvalues you just have to write the characteristic equation so it is 1 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda if you expand you'll be getting a cubic equation as the given matrix is of order 3 you'll be getting a cubic equation Kelly Hamilton theorem is to be verified actually lambda is to be replaced by given matrix is B so it's minus B cube plus 6 B square minus 11 B plus this 6 should be replaced by 6i we have to prove that it is 0 so we have to verify whether this is ok or not for that we have to calculate uh, first uh, b is given using b you calculate b square using b square you calculate b cube then write this expression and see whether it is equal to 0 so b square first of all calculate it is b into b this matrix into this matrix you will be getting an answer like this uh, then b cube is actually b square into b you will be getting a, again a matrix like this now write this expression, this expression we have to write and finally you see that that will be equal to 0, you will be getting it as 0 uh, even though you get uh, a complicated uh, expression like this, so you will be getting finally this as 0, that you have to verify. This you can see, uh, my, you write minus b q minus of this one plus 6 times this one minus 11 times b uh, plus 6 times 1 0 0 sorry 1 0 0 0 1 0 so that you can in uh, one, two or three steps you can see that finally you will be getting 0 if you don't get 0 something is ran, went, went wrong with uh, the characteristic polynomial or something like that so anyhow you have to verify that's your duty you can do it on your own because it's a very basic computation matrix computation you can get it as 0 0 0 that means it's a 0 matrix so that's these are the two problems which are uh, uh, given for you to il just illustrate how we can verify Cayley Hamilton theorem. Now we will deal with the uh, application of Cayley -Ham Hamilton theorem. Uh, yeah. The first one we can use for, uh, we can use Cayley Hamilton theorem for finding powers of a matrix. Means if, uh, if we have a given matrix as A, you can find A square, A cube, etc. using uh, Cayley Hamilton theorem. Especially when a, a is a square matrix of order N, you can calculate A raised to N. Uh, but before that you have to calculate A square, etc. up to A raised to N minus. So let us see some examples then it will be clear to you. Yeah, find A square and A cube if A is like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is the given matrix, you call it as A, you have to call it A cube and A square, not just by multiplying but applying Cayley Hamilton theorem. Cayley, characteristic equation you have tried first, characteristic equation will be, uh, this is equal to 0 but that we have seen, so by Cayley Hamilton, you now here this is not verification, using this you can straight away write by Cayley Hamilton theorem, instead of this 2 you can write as 2i, 5 lamb, 5a, then a square. So a square minus 5a minus 2a equal to 0. The a square, you can keep it here, take these two things to the other side, then a square will be equal to 5a plus 2i, call it as equation number 1, we'll be using it for finding a cube also. Now it is a square like this. So you need not multiply. So 5 times given matrix plus 2 times this identity matrix is this one. So 5 times 1 plus 2 which is 7. 5 times 2, 10 plus 0 is t uh, 10. 5 times 3, 15 plus 0 which is 15. 5 times 4, 20 plus 2 which is 22. So that's your A square. So without actual multiplication, you can calculate from this equation what is A square. Now you multiply here on both sides by A. So it will become A cube. This will become 5A square plus 2A and Y which is A. So it will like look like this. So from 1, if you multiply for both sides so with A, you will be getting A, A cube equal to 5A square plus 2A. A square is already found out here. A square is uh, there here. Uh, sorry. Yeah, A square is, uh, we know in the previous slide, A square like this. So there's 5 times A square plus 2 times A. So it's just 5 times, so 7 is 35, 35 plus 2 which is 37, 5 times 10 is 50, 50 plus 4 is 54, 5 times 15 is uh, 75, 75 plus 6 which is 81, 5 times 22 is 110, 110 plus 8 is 118. So this is the value of AQ. 
So you need not, so for the examination point of view, you must be very careful. It is not by just uh, ordinary multiplication. You know how to multiply matrices, but that is not the case here. You have to apply uh, what is the recursive. This is the first step we, where you will be finding A square using Cayley-Hamilton theorem. Then you, using the same equation, multiplying by A, then uh, uh, from the previous step you know A square, then you so for the examination point of view, you should not use the usual multiplication, but you should, in each step, you should apply Cayley Hamilton theorem. One more, uh, uh, one, find A cube if this is given. But here it is A cube, that means you cannot find A square. Up to A square, you have to compute as usual multiplication. After that, A cube is to be computed with the help of Cayley Hamilton theorem. So here also, as, is, as in the previous uh, problems, characteristic equation is to be written first. Then you have to express it as a polynomial. In this polynomial, we have to replace each lambda by A. So it is minus A cube plus 6A plus minus 11. Uh, sorry, 6. This should be, uh, there is a mistake. This must be, this must be A lambda square. So, okay. Uh, minus uh, minus six uh, la plus sorry minus lambda cube plus six lambda square minus eleven lambda plus six uh, using Cayley Hamilton theorem this lambda can be replaced by a so it is minus a cube plus six a square minus eleven a plus six i that's it, it, it goes like this now uh, if we have to compute a cube so it should be uh, a cube can be taken to the other side. The a cube is equal to 6a square minus 11a plus, uh, this must be plus 6i, that's a mistake, plus 6i, okay, plus 6i. Therefore, you, you, you know, see, you know a, you know i, but a square is not known. So a square you have to compute as usual multiplication. That means the given matrix a, it should be written here, the second a, multiply it and get the answer as usual multiplication. Then come back to this equation. From this equation, you can get the value of a cube as, a, uh, as an expression using this one. So that should be uh, 6 times this obtained matrix plus 11 times the given matrix minus it should be plus, I think, yeah, this should be plus. It should be plus. Okay, right answer, final answer is a square matrix of order 3. That's there. So that's about uh, finding the powers of matrices. Now, there is another way of applying, another way of uh, applying uh, the Cayley Hamilton theorem. This is for finding inverse of a square matrix. So suppose you are given a matrix like this, how to find inverse using Cayley Hamilton theorem. You, again, you have to write characteristic equation. Then uh, you will be getting something like this, minus lambda cube plus 8 lambda square minus 19 lambda plus 12 equal to 0. Using Cayley Hamilton theorem, each lambda is to be replaced by A. Then the final 12 should be replaced by 12i. So it is minus A cube plus 8A square minus 19A plus 12 equal to 0. That will be there. Then uh, this, yeah, this is 12i, 12i equal to 0. Now we have to find A inverse means multiply here throughout by A inverse. A inverse with A cube is A square, so it is minus A square. A square with A inverse is A, so it is 8A. Here it is A into A inverse is I, so it is minus 19I. 12I into A inverse is A inverse, so this is to be computed. So take all those things to the other side and divide by 12, you will be getting A inverse is equal to 1 by 12 minus A square plus 8A minus 19I. You have to compute A square as usual multiplication in another step, then 8 times given matrix minus 19 times the identity matrix. You can compute it and multiply, sorry, divide it by 12, so it is 1 by 12 into the answer for this one that you have right here. Uh, now, another example where um, you have to compute the inverse of this square matrix. Given A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, characteristic equation, uh, as we have done this problem many times, characteristic equation is like this. You replace A uh, lambda by A, so it is A square minus 5A minus 2I equal to 0. Multiply throughout by A inverse. A inverse into A square is A. A inverse into A is I. A inverse into I is A inverse. You have to take this one to the other side. Therefore, 2A inverse is equal to A minus 5I. So A inverse will be 1 by 2 times A minus 5I. A is known, 5I is known. So the, this will be the answer. So here the answer is more uh, simple. But remember, I have to tell you a very important uh, idea. If this part is zero, if the constant is zero, that is actually determined that we'll show in another uh, video. This, if this is zero, you will not be able to find A inverse because A inverse is multiplied by that constant actually. A inverse is multiplied. If this happens to be zero, then the matrix you can see that it will be singular. That means if the determinant will be zero, when, when the determinant is zero, the inverse will not be 
existing. So these are the uh, results which we have done in this video. Uh, Cayley Hamilton theorem uh, statement you have to learn, then verification, then finding the powers, then finding the inverse. These are all uh, coming under the uh, very broad uh, heading called Cayley Hamilton theorem and its applications. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can ask me.